We finally get the first video teaser of a fully working iPhone 7. LG makes its V20 event official, and boy did that date come off complicated. And Samsung confirms that we can expect a lot from iris scanners in the future. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, who would have ever thought that uh, Simba would become Black Panther at some point? This is Paganel Daily. The official news today begin with Apple Music for Android. The service now ended beta. You can now access it and, uh, well, it's pretty much the typical same thing that we get on iOS. The only difference is that Apple managed to clear out all the bugs in addition to allow you to store your music on an SD card, which makes you wonder when is Apple going to bring this to the iPhone. But anyways, you can learn more in the link in the description. Now let's move the spotlight over to the HTC Nexus codename Sailfish. We've got some interesting benchmarks that reveal that this phone kind of reminds us of a OnePlus 3. We've got a 1080p display, four gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of onboard storage. Yeah, I know the storage is not the same thing, but uh, 12 megapixel camera, it seems that this is going to be <laughs> a competitor to flagship killers. And uh, that is actually a very good idea. Let's see what we get from the other unit if it happens. Now, Samsung just came on record to tell us a lot more about what to expect from iris scanners, particularly that we should expect the future Galaxy lineup to include it, in addition to other smartphones and tablets, because uh, Samsung wants to make this a big deal, mainly with banking, mainly with security. Apparently, the company is up to many partnerships, in addition to providing an API for third-party developers to use this service. Uh, so get used to it. Again, you don't need to use the iris scanner, but it makes things a little more convenient. It's nice to have. Now let's talk about the company's main competitor, LG in Korea. The company has just announced that we should expect its latest flagship, the V20. Listen to the date, September 6. Guess where we're going to be on September 6? We're going to be in IFA in Berlin, and this event is in San Francisco. Set your calendars. We'll figure out a way to cover it. This is definitely one phone we are anticipating. LG is anticipating a two, given its quarter results lately. It should be the premium flagship that we expect. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the iPhone 7, the regular iPhone 7, as we've got some leaked videos that show us what to expect from this phone. And uh, this is an actually a functioning phone, and we can notice a couple of things. Number one, the back changes, as we've seen on leaks. The front doesn't change at all, but we can't really make if the home button is actually a typical push button or if we're getting a force touch home button, which is what we are expecting. And uh, well, it just proves to the fact that at least the iPhone 7 or iPhone 6 SE, whatever the name is going to be, is mainly going to be just an update and we should expect something broader next year. So it leads me to the question of the day. Particularly with the front, do you think that it should change? I mean, Apple has been bringing this iPhone front ever since the first generation model. In my case, I do believe that it should, but we would love to know your opinion in the comments down below. Friends, do not forget to subscribe, but hit that button down below for more videos like this one. Also, catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocket now. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.